Hello everyone and welcome back to this so today with me Grandmaster Stitch, I hope you're all having a great day and as you can see we're carrying on our house mud play through, this is part 5, we, well the war with the Vale in the north ended in a white piece but we are now pulling up our banners to attack the Blackwater Rush so that we can take the Blackwater all the way down to obviously the main part of the Blackwater and extend our lands and there's still a couple more petty kingdoms that we want to get control of as King Christopher. He is getting quite old now though, 55. Hopefully he's still got a good few years in him but you never know how quickly he could die. It could be any day now but hopefully it's not. Hopefully he lives to a ripe old age because I don't have the greatest faith in our successor. He's not too bad but he's quite weak. Our other son is a little bit better fighting wise, but he's still not the best. He's only a trained fighter. So, okay, let's get our banners together. We're meeting up at the top of the God's Eye. And the Gardener Kings are coming to help us, so that is great news. Right, yeah, we'll get everybody together here. And then we will march straight on the Blackwater. Wow, it looks like they've got like 200 men, and that's it. So this should be a very, very easy, hopefully. And then, I don't know if we'll go for Rosby next, or I might pick off these small lands like Stokeworth and Hayford. Who are, who Who owns these? Old Gods and Stokeworth are Old Gods as well. So yeah, we'll take those under our command. Oh, he's a skilled fighter, this guy. He seems pretty decent. Okay, the Lannisters are fighting someone. We've still got the um, ambition to get a Valyrian Steel Sword as well, which I'd absolutely love to achieve at some point, but... We've not had anything pop up about that yet. I'd love to know what you guys think I should call the Valyrian Steel Sword if we do get one with House Mud. Be interesting, yeah, to help me think of a name. Oh, what's going on here? I've received a letter from Master Joseph. It was a very quick and concise message inquiring about my good health with a comment about the possibility of the two of us keeping more in contact with each other. Yes, okay, keep people on side. We also have a huge army now and all our men gather in one spot. 13,000 men here, and we've still got a few on the way. Oh, people want to duel. Disallow it, because I hate it when you end up losing one of your decent men, because they all want to fight each other. Oh, we can press a weak claim. Where is this place? Oh, down. Oh, no, no, I can't. I'm not pressing a claim for something all the way down there. Right, all our 20,000 men are all together. Let's march them... Um, Let's just march on the capital. We'll let them do what they want. They're not going to be able to do much with 425 men, are they? But yeah, as I was saying, I'd love for you guys to help me think of a name for a Valerian Steel Sword for House Mud, if we can get our hands on one. Something like maybe Dirt, or I don't know. I'm sure you guys can think of something much better than me, but obviously I want it to relate to the house. My ward Edmund is not exerting himself in his studies. I'm starting to despair. Hmm. Well, no, I don't want to beat him into action. We'll talk to him about being diligent. And also, he's gained the trait diligent. That is awesome. This is a Tully lad that we've got. Okay, he's uh, coming on fairly nicely, actually. Can we arrange a betrothal between him and... Yes. Who's this? Our niece. We could arrange it between our niece. Yeah, let's go for our niece. That's a good match with a Tully. Yes. Okay, we are almost at Raynet. Awesome, and he has accepted, so that's awesome. It would be nice to give the Tullys some land if we get chance at some point. Okay, the army of Grey Shield is here. We are losing men here, though. Quite a bad supply line. Awesome, they've accepted uh, my instructions of getting limited realm authority. So hopefully get some more soldiers. I also want to see if I can change any of the other rules to get more taxes coming in. Oh, my king, Andals are sailing in great numbers across the narrow sea to Westeros, made zealous by conflicts and flight. These savage warriors of the Andals carve the seven pointed star upon their bodies and swear by their blood and the seven not to rest until they had hewn their kingdoms from our lands. An Andal band led by Walton has been spotted approaching Blackwood Vale, no doubt seeking conquest in our lands. Okay, we shall throw these invaders back into the narrow sea. Okay, let's have a look at this guy. He's not going to have... Oh, he's got 16,000 men. That's quite a lot, actually. Awesome, the ward of House Mouton is also, is he the heir of House Mouton? Yes, he is. Let's see if we can arrange a betrothal with him and our one of our granddaughters. No, we can't. Okay, but he's mastering the art of swordmanship at least. Wow, 15,000 gardener men coming north. We'll 
Ask them to help us in the invasion of Blackwood then. Okay, wants to come to us. Um, yeah, you've got some decent stats actually. So, uh, yes, I accept. We'll take you in. Why not? Right, have we won this yet? Yes, there is no one of value here though. Let's march on to the next plot of land. Where are these Andals? Have they landed? Yes, they've landed and they've split in their forces between Blackwood Vale and... Where else are they attacking? Okay, right. We're going to need to march north and attack them at some point. Oh, okay. We're attacking the Vale. Ah, yes. I think these were allies of the Vale, wasn't they? If I remember from the last episode. I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah, the Vale are on their side. Well, that's not going to be too much trouble. They've not got the numbers to threaten us. We've got quite a decent sized army. And with that Gardner army on our side, I think we're pretty much going to be untouchable. Got to go sort out these Andals, though, before they... Uh, take our lands but yeah first we'll sort out oh wow there's quite a lot of defenders at this castle it's interesting let's just forward things along till we can win that siege i'll pay the interest i don't have the full amount right now edmund my ward wants to know what it's all about why are we here on this earth make him a proper old god western yes so we've managed to convert Lord Tully into an old gods believer. That is awesome. Especially marrying our niece. We'll definitely give him some land if we get the chance. The Lorafi Isles have remained unhabited for many years. But men at last have returned to the Isles to live. And they are men from Valeria itself. A sect of religious descendants have left the Freehold to establish a temple upon Lorof's main isle. These new Lorafi are worshippers of Boash, the Blind God. The Blind God and his followers have made the ancient mazes of the first Lorath, their towns, temples and tombs, rejecting all the other duties. The followers of Borash eat no flesh, drink no wine and walk barefoot through the world, clad only in hair shirts and hides. Their eunuch priests wear eyeless hoods in honour of their gods. Only in darkness they believe will their third eye open, allowing them to see the higher truths of creation. The worships of the Boash believe that all life is sacred and eternal, that men and women are equal. The lords and peasants, rich and poor, are all alike, all equally worth all creatures of God. Okay, very interesting. I don't know if I was saying some of those words right, but... Never mind. Oh, we're, we're only at 21% now. Let's march on this 6,000 army, which I'm guessing has the veil in it. So if we can crush that army, that should be a massive, massive boost to winning this battle. And I think the Gardener army has gone north to take care of the Andals for us. So that's a win-win situation. We ain't even got to concentrate on that. Oh, they've got away. We're just going to crush these 16,000 instead, which is going to be silly easier. Let's just siege it a bit more again. Yep. Uh, where's that big army gone? They're in our lands now. How dare they? Ah, they're marching away. Right, we'll just take the capital and then we'll chase them after. Oh no, they're coming back. Right, assault that and it's free defenders. Aha! Take her family into house arrest. But that only takes us to 99. We need one more victory still. Let's just attack this siege line. That should give us 100 hope. No, it didn't. We're going to have to attack these men then, by the looks of it. Special actions. Uh, n yes, ransom all prisoners. See if we can get some money out of it. And now we'll crush this Veil armor. And that's got to be enough to take us to 100, hopefully. There we go. That's the Blackwater rush under our control. Offer peace and force demands. Yes. Oh, look at that. The lands go right all the way down to where King's Landing would stand. Awesome. Our son has had a son. That is great. More heirs for House of Mud. Right. I will suffer no other queen. Where is this Andal Invaders? Let's go take care of them. Yes, we'll ransom all prisoners. See if we can get some money out of it. Yes, I think Stokeworth and Hayford will be next on our target list. But let's go get rid of these Andal invaders first and get them off our shores. Surprised we've not had any more Andal invaders invading elsewhere, trying to take um, some of these other lands other than just ours. 
Come on, get marching army, get marching, let's take them. Oh, okay, it's time to choose how I want to educate Princess Sarah Mudd, our granddaughter. Okay, she's a bit of a mix. Uh, she will be groomed for command and I will spend highly, of course. Let's assign a guardian to her. Okay, you'll do with your 22, it's not too bad. He has no reason not to be proud. Right, are we almost there now? March further north. We've got double the men. We'll easily destroy this and our men. Hopefully that'll be enough to send them packing back home. Prepare to die, scum. You turn to face Reader Walton and he breaks his charge and flees. Uh, everyone always flees. We've not actually had a chance to have a fight as King Tristopher yet because everyone has fl fled every time that we've had a battle. Right, let's lift the siege here, and again, and lift the siege here, and then we'll chase and or force down, and that should be enough to win that war. And then we'll be able to declare war on somebody else and expand our lands. I don't know if to go for these little ones or go for Rosby first. Might go for Rosby as it's a bigger kingdom. There we go. Offer peace and force demands, yes. Disband unit. There we go. So that expands the uh, realm even more. I have noticed my master at arms, Luke Moore, is a hard worker and everyone seems to like him. I decided between him having him heighten the morale of the warriors or try and recruit more men. Hmm. Morale. We've got quite a lot of men anyway, haven't we? We don't really need to get any more. Yes, reappoint the old council, please. Right. I think I'm going to go for Rosby next. Oh, it's only a young child as well. Six years old. D declare war. Royal claim on Rosby. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, that's to help us, isn't it? Yes. Send. They will surely honour their obligations. I don't even think we're going to need... Oh, hey, oh, what's going on here? Oh, he's just failed to uh, call up his men. Wow, he's not got a very good opinion of me. Okay, fair enough. Let's call up our men. And have them all march to here. And you march there as well. Actually, no. Have them all march to the God's Eye. Because that's a little bit close to that Rosby army. Which is a decent size, actually, for a little area like that. 3,000s. Not bad at all. They're going to get picked off, so... Never mind. It's an early victory for Rosbear. Oh, okay, one of our courtiers have died. That's a shame. Right, yes. Get everyone together at the God's Eye once more. And then we can march down and take Rosby. Expanding our lands all the way around the God's Eye fully that way in the Blackwater. Okay, who are you? Who are you? High Lordship. Oh, wow, yes, you're very good at, uh, with gold. I accept you can be our new master of coin. Wow, we haven't got as many men as normal, have we? Not got many men at all. I think we need to uh, lay down on the wars after this one to uh, let people get back on side with us. Try and get their opinions back up. Let's go straight for Rosby for now. We need to let our armies recover slightly. Okay, a dragon's died. Uh, yes, I accept, because we probably won't even need to help you. Oh, what is this war? Vassalize that. Oh, they're trying to get... Oh, House Pain. Okay. Right, I want to try and pick these lands off next then, before House Gardener try and take them. They're already going to get House Pain now, which is a shame, because I... I did plan on taking a house pain eventually. I am still worried about... Oh, our grandson. What's he got at? Gold. Good with numbers. And we'll spend lavishly. Let's assign a guardian. Yes, definitely you. There we go. Right. Yes, I was a bit worried about these dragon lords that have moved in on Dragonson. It's not Targaryens, but still dragon lords with some dragons. So it's very worrying. Hopefully they keep their eyes to the east and not the west. 
Let's call them up to help us as well. At least then if they bump into the Rosby army, they can attack it. We've lost quite a lot of men on that already. Let's assault and get that out of the way. Take them into house arrest and that's enough then to win that battle. Offer peace and force demands. Yes. Rosby is now ours. That is great. And we've got this circled so we'll be able to take care of that. Do we really need to help? Well, we'll march on Pain Hall and help them. Why not? Yes, reappoint the old. I will suffer no other queens, but. Who's your heir? Okay, Carlton Rosby. Let's see if we can arrange a betrothal with you and our grandson. Oh no, it's our son, our youngest son. Yes, we can. Awesome, so he'll be the future Lord of Rosby. That's great news. Right, let's get our council sorted out because we've got our new Master of Coin now, haven't we? So, collect taxes, please, in Old Stones. Awesome, she's accepted the betrothal. That is great news. Minor titles. Do we have any minor titles that need... Yes, keep it off the swans. Right, I'm going to go for Fawn to get them on side. Is there one of our new bannermen? Hi, Almanar. Who else isn't too much on side? Mutant. Let's try and cheer him up a little bit. Go with you. We've got any room for any commanders? Yes, one more commander. Yes, we'll go with you. Right, so let's march our armies over to Pain Hall to help out in that war. Duskindale's looking like a nice fat kingdom that needs to be brought into our realm, as well as up on the, the uh, House Crab where they are. We need to take the Whispers at some point. But at least it's not on the border of anyone else, so hopefully no one else will go for it. Aha, okay, you need a... Well, you're a bit all round, so I don't really know what to do with you. Um... Assign a guardian. Um... Go for diplomacy, because we ain't really got a diplomacy, have we? It's their duty. I'm going to dis... Let's disband it, actually, and we'll let the gardeners get on with it. They'll win anyway, and they think they've got our support, so we haven't really got to worry about it, have we? Right. Disband units, yes. Try and get everyone on side a bit more. No, I think he's doing a fine job. To all my subjects, no blood relatives of the past sovereign stand as the obvious heir to Red March, leaving the succession unclear. Therefore, I have decided to use my powers as Lord Protector to crown myself and so demand a fealty of the nobles of the realm as the new king. Okay. A bold move. Does that mean the Ironwoods have died out? The Ironwoods must have died out then. Yeah, it looks that way. Okay. Or has he done this even though there are... No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, guys, I think we're going to end this episode here for now. A look at that for a realm now. It really has... Okay, we can pay off the loan finally. It really has spread into a massive, massive um, kingdom now. We haven't even got any bannermen raised. It's because we're at war, but I haven't actually... Or whatever. Anyway, yes, look at that for a kingdom. And we're going to take the rest of the crown lands very, very soon. Thank you all so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new here. And comment down below so that we can chat Crusader Kings in Game of Thrones. Thank you all so much and I'll see you very soon, hopefully, in my next video.